Hey guys, welcome back to day two of uh, trying this K20C in all sorts of cars, see what it fits in. Today we're gonna work with the 2012 Civic. We've got one of those right here. We're gonna use a 2006 Civic and we're also gonna try it in the first generation, actually only generation of the Honda CRZ. By the way, uh, the Honda CRZ's engine bay is identical to the second gen fit. So if it fits there, it's gonna fit the fit too. So in order to prep the engine bay, basically we removed the subframe. Uh, we kind of tied the hubs out of the way uh, so they're not interfering. This engine bay's actually been stripped out. There's no brake booster or anything like that. These things don't usually interfere with our engine anyway, so I'm not particularly worried about that. Uh, what I'm curious about is the distance between the frame rails, uh, the distance between the uh, radiator support in the front and the firewall in the back. Uh, I'll probably slip the cowl onto it just to see what it looks like, see how far it tucks underneath. This particular car has a windscreen that really slants forward at kind of a dramatic angle. So we wanna see if the engine's gonna be tucked underneath or if it's gonna be out in front of it. Anyway, uh, we've got this cleared out, so let's put the motor in. So we got the engine in the car. This is basically what it's going to sit. You can see right here, normally there's a, a hood latch support that goes across here. It looks like it's going to clear nicely. The radiator outlet and hoses are all over here. They look like they reach normally. Um, it nestles in between the frame rail really nicely. We'll push it over that way just a little bit. There we go. Lots of room. Well, I shouldn't say lots of room. But sufficient amount of room in between. So looking at this motor in the engine bay, it fits really nicely and that's not at all surprising. You have to understand this engine actually came in this chassis in Europe in 2015. Uh, we've made up a couple of test mounts for putting it in the Type R. Uh, let's go ahead and see how they fit. I mean, basically, our mount is pretty much centered between the bracket holes on the transmission side. Now, if we look at our mount that we've made for the engine side, once again, here are our mount holes down here for the bracket, and they're pretty much centered as well. So it looks like this is actually gonna fit really nicely in this chassis. Oh, something else is kind of interesting. If you look at the way this sits in the car, and there's normally a subframe, on the subframe, right below here is the rear engine mount. It actually attaches to the right-hand side of the oil pan on the K-Series motor. Now, I just happened to get this part the other day. Let me show you. This is the oil pan that's gonna come on the new 2018 Accord with the K20. It's gonna bolt in like this. You notice right here, there's a place here for brackets for an engine mount that's on the right-hand side. So using this oil pan with this engine or using the Accord engine, it's gonna actually fit really nicely in there. We're gonna be able to make a rear mount using the stock location on the subframe in order to uh, connect to the oil pan. So I think that's kind of cool. Obviously, this Accord oil pan is the same one that came on the car in the Civic in 2015 as well. Okay, next up to bat, we have the 2006 Civic SI, or as so many call it, the Gen 8. Um, now, if we look down in here, it has the engine mount over on the right-hand side as well. So that oil pan uh, that we have that comes on the new Accord, came on the old Type R motor, that is gonna be necessary for the swap too. Uh, we're going to pull the subframe out, get everything kind of out of the way, and uh, check out the clearance on this one as well. But honestly, I suspect it'll be just like the 2012 was.
Uh, looks like it fits a lot like the uh, ten, uh, ninth gen Civic. Uh, we see we have uh, room between uh, the turbo and the radiator. You probably could go back another half an inch from here. Uh, funny, looks like the radiator hose almost exactly lines up. Um, I'm not really sure what's going to happen when we put the subframe on it. This engine seems to be just a smidgen taller than the K-Series. Uh, it's taller right here, in this area right here. So that may actually be uh, contacting a little bit. But the hood's rather thick right here, so it'd be just an easy job to go ahead and cut away some of the hood structure to get this to fit. Again, like I said before, uh, the engine mount is on the subframe off to the side. Same place it would be for the Accord motor or for the 2015 Type R motor. Uh, or this motor with the with that oil pan on it, uh, but let's put our mounts in again Put our mount in on this side uh, again the mount is uh, almost centered Perfectly between these two like I said it may be able to go back about another half an inch all right, uh, let's see what happens with Roy's putting our other mount on. Again, that mount fits really nicely. The uh, It's fairly well centered between the bolt holes on it, and it lines up nicely to the bracket that comes off the side. So it looks like it's going to fit almost identically to what the 2012 Civic did. All right, we're uh, on vehicle number three for the day. This is... Uh, a 2001 Civic, actually with 2005 bodywork on it. Uh, this car's had a K series and it. it comes with a D17. This is actually a stand-in for the RSX and for the EP3 as well. Now, uh, the engine bay is very similar in size. The RSX has slightly more room up front. The EP3 has about the same amount of room up front. The only real difference is the, the brackets on the frame rail are on different sides. But otherwise, this particular subframe in this car is the same as the RSX one, same as the EP3 one. Uh, we're going to try the motor in and see how it fits in there. running into a little bit of interference over here. The fuse box on this particular model is on this side. On both the EP3 and the um, RSX, we have, thank you, on both the EP3 and the RSX, <laughs> the fuse box is over here. I mean, actually, this ABS sensor winds up being over on this side. So, like I said, we're running into a little bit of an interference problem. Well, we've got about an inch and a half of room over here. And we probably have about an inch of overhang, so it's going to fit in fine right and left with a little rerouting of some of the wiring. It's definitely fine front to rear. Uh, I'm not totally sure how the subframe is going to fit, but we'll get to that uh, as we start making mounts for it. But there's plenty of room forward to back, so I think it's going to fit pretty well, not only in the 01 to 05 Civic, but obviously the EP3 as well as the RSX. Um, we need to do a little bit more work on this. One of the things I was kind of toying, or one of the ideas I was toying with, and I may have seen me mention this in one of the other videos, is to actually go in and make an adapter plate so you can use the stock K-Series transmission, you know, the earlier model ones, like on the RSX and stuff, with this engine. Uh, there's going to be a pile of these motors available from the Accords because the Accord is going to come probably mostly with the 10-speed automatic transmission. And if you're like me, you're going to go, yuck, I don't want an automatic, and you're going to want to use this... Uh, uh, you know, use some sort of a K-series transmission. These are going to be a little bit more harder to get a hold of. I'm sure everyone that gets wrecked in a salvage yard is going to wind up going in somebody's swap somewhere. Uh, so, uh, I think an adapter plate would uh, help out tremendously with uh, swap availability. Anyway, uh, happy to say that it fits in this as well. Uh, I actually have an RSX that we're going to be pulling the motor out of pretty soon, so I'll probably 
go ahead and double check it on that. But uh, so far, so good. Well, that kind of concludes our fun for today. Uh, good news, if you've got a car that came with the K-Series, it's probably going to fit in there, no problem. Uh, join us next time. We're going to try a few new chassis. This time, uh, we'll get to the CRZ. I didn't get to it today. Uh, we'll also try the EF and DA. And if I have time, I'll give it a try on the Honda Insight as well. Anyway, thanks for tuning in to VTech Academy. Uh, if you got any questions, leave them down in the comments section. I'd be happy to answer your tech questions, let you know what's going on. Thanks a lot for clicking on us.